to start it off with a quote by Dennis Waitley. Failure should be our teacher, not our undertaker. Failure is delay and not defeat. It is a temporary detour, not a dead end. Failure is something that we can avoid only by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. Now, as Andy said, I am the founder of the HittingPerformanceLab.com where we do online training for hitters, both baseball and softball, and we focus on taking a science point of view and applying it to hitting. I also played baseball for 17 years, the last four years being at Fresno State from 2000 to 2003. Now, how many of you can say that you failed seven out of 10 times on a test in school, got away with it, had enough success? Well, baseball's a little different. That actually works in baseball. You're considered a Hall of Famer in baseball over your career if you bat 300, which means you failed seven out of 10 times. And the reason why, and this is why I brought these, is that what, we're try what the hitter's trying to do is this is his weapon of choice, only weapon of choice, and he's trying to hit with a cylindrical bat, an unknown moving cylindrical ball, where he doesn't know or she doesn't know the pitch type, the speed, or the location. And this hitter is required to hit that ball at the most optimal point on the bat, which is what we call the sweet spot. So this is why there's a lot of failure that is a part of baseball or hitting. Now, I wanted to illustrate my speech today and the objective of the speech being I want to inspire you guys to fail forward. And I wanted to use, it was, it was funny because I was going to use another story, another case study of one of my other hitters, where when I was actually st studying my speech and, and practicing it, I had a text message from one of my dads that we had a conversation over text the night before. It was a very frustrating conversation for both him and I. It gives me the collie wobbles whenever I hear any of my my students are having a hard time, especially a 10-year-old whose birthday was, is today. So happy birthday, Ian. He's going to probably see this video. I wanted to send it to his dad. So it was very frustrating for both the, the player and the father, of course, and mother, but father's working with him in this case, and the coach, when a player isn't hitting the ball at that age. They're just swinging under the ball, swinging under the ball, or whatever, whatever the reason is. For Ian, he's swinging under the ball. He's not hitting the ball. So dad sent me this text, and I asked him if I could share it. And he said, he said, for sure, go right, go right ahead. So he texted, meditated on the frustration Ian and myself have been feeling. I realized due to the frustration, the idea of he just can't hit is absolutely BS. And he did say BS, he didn't say the actual word. <laughs> if I truly believe that Ian wouldn't be able to walk to this day, if he believed that, he even wouldn't have been able to walk to this day. I remember watching him as a baby just starting to crawl. I don't know how many times he struggled to lift his head and push himself onto his hands only to come crashing down on the floor and crying in frustration. And that was just crawling. How much more difficult is hitting a movie, moving object in an unknown location? Then he shared a little comic strip. It was a four-pane comic strip. It's kind of, kind of funny, perfect. The comic was titled, What Your Instrument Thinks, or Frustration is Normal. So a, the first picture is of a guy who's playing a horn. And he's frustrated, and he's, he's going, ah, and you hear this, ah, you know, he's got it on the thing, like he's, he's really angry. The second pain is, bam, the horn hits the ground. The third pain is the guy has gone out of the out of the scene and he said, I quit. And then the, the last pain is the actual instrument thinking, little bubbles going up above the instrument saying, he'll be back. So that's one of the things with failure. When we look at it and how to approach failure, there's three things that failure will tell us. It will expose our weakness. So whether we're talking baseball or we're talking life, life or baseball has a great way of showing you what you need to work on. Whether if it's baseball, we're talking about power, or swinging under a ball, or consistently hitting the ball hard, or in life, that can be anything. But it gives us a, an idea or a picture of, okay, what is it that I need to get better at? The second thing is it presents an opportunity. Once you can identify the weakness or identify the issue or challenge, then we get the opportunity. And what we want to do, and this was my, this is always my advice to my hitters and my dads and my parents, is that you always focus on the process and not the result. Okay? The result is the process. And what was interesting is when I read a book, it was Tony LaRusse's book. He was a coach for the St. Louis Cardinals in 2011 and won the World Series. This was his last year. He'd had a nice, lengthy career as a coach, one of the best coaches. will go down ever, probably, in, in Major League Bay or coaches, all coaches of all sports. And in the book, he talked about where he 
interviewed Reggie Jackson. He was looking for answers on how to get better under pressure. Reggie Jackson, for those of you who may know him, he was referred to as Mr. Mr. October because he always showed up in October during the World Series and did super well, kind of like Derek Jeter did. And he asked Reggie Jackson, what is, it, what is it that you do that is so different and you're able to handle this pressure and do well under it? And he said, well, you know, Tony, it's focusing on the process and not the result. And this is something Derek Jeter's echoed too in his book. The last thing is making adjustments. So once we have those two, we, have, we see, know what the weakness is, we see the opportunity, we make the adjustments. And failing over and over again is how we succeed. Consider this quote by Michael Jordan, my favorite quote probably all time. I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost, lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions, I have been entrusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I have failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. This is failing forward. I want to end this speech by asking you a question. What does failing forward look like to you? Thank you. The Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know repeatable hitting power does not start in the hips? Have you heard the expressions, load and explode the hips, power comes from the hips? Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that will show you how we added 48 feet of batted ball distance instantly. And it's not all about the hips. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.